cabin strength and the cabin forms in cars have changed. Cabins will stay in better shape now than they used to, and that's fundamental to vehicle safety. In addition to that, there's been airbags introduced, not just the frontal airbags, but the side airbags, head protecting airbags, knee airbags, so lots of airbags have been introduced. And then, of course, we've moved on to these safety technologies that will prevent crashes or help prevent crashes. So uh, technology that if you get into a skid will assist you. Um, if you are going to tail end somebody, emergency braking will, will apply. Uh, if you're going to pull into the lane of another car that's alongside you on the motorway, there's warning devices that will tell you that. This is the newer vehicle and you can see here the front end has really done its job. It's absorbed a lot of the energy from the crash. It has moved back in, but it hasn't moved back in too far. The cabin integrity, so the shape of the cabin has stayed intact. And we can see here the way all the airbags have deployed. As well as that, we can see that the restraint system here has held the passenger in place. And whilst there's a little bit of damage around the vehicle, you can probably still open this door. So pretty good result for this one. So by comparison, this is the older vehicle, and you can see here that there's been no absorption, it's just completely collapsed. We keep talking about the cabin staying in shape, and we can see here already that the cabin hasn't stayed in shape. In fact, the front wheel is back here, there's been nothing to stop it coming back and penetrating into that cabin. The door beam has actually broken away and come through, so the door is totally collapsed. Then we come here, we can see quite a lot of damage again in the cabin area. The seat has collapsed. We can see that the dummy has hit the steering wheel and the dashboard. So with this, there would be severe head injuries, severe chest injuries, leg injuries, and the person in this probably wouldn't survive. Always buy the safest car that you can afford. You know, safety is not a luxury, so look for the ANCAP ratings and get that five-star car if you can.